What's up guys, welcome to V-Sexualization, Nestor Aliancian here again. Today guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a date slicer with valid dates only in DAX. This is a new skill that I learned a few days ago and because I'm not selfish, I'm going to share with you guys this awesome trick. But before we get started, if this is the first time you stop by this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications on my new Power BI content. So now, are you ready? Let's go. For today's tutorial, I have two different points. The first one, we're gonna learn about the calendar table key concepts. Here, I'm not gonna teach you about how to create a calendar table because I have already created a tutorial about that, but my goal here is to remind you about the key concepts. Second point, it's all about the case. I have a really nice case here. So now guys, let's go to the first point. Okay, so here we have five different points. First point here, the date table or calendar table must have at least one column with a date or date time data type. Really important concept here. Second point here, the date values must be at day granularity every single day we need to have a row per day third point here the date column must go from january 1st to december 31st this is critical if we are working with time intelligence calculations okay next point here the date values must be continuous so no gaps here and finally we need to mark the calendar table as date table really really important key concepts to create calendar tables so now guys let's move on to the next point okay the case i know you guys are ready for the case like i said this is going to be a quick tutorial and let's get started with the case the question that we have here is create a new column within the calendar table to capture valid dates only hint use DAX to create a new column. Let's do that. Let's go to Power BI Desktop. All right, so here we are in Power BI Desktop and before we get started with the case, so let's take a look at the tables real quick. We have the financials table here and this table is coming from Microsoft. So every time you open a Power BI Desktop file, there's an option there to grab a sample data set. So this is basically that table, the financials table. So we also have a dates table here, and I already created a calendar table by using DAX. Like I said at the beginning, my goal here is not to teach you how to create a calendar table, but to create a slicer with valid dates only. So I have a tutorial about creating calendar tables. I'm gonna share with you the link if you wanna explore it, okay? So that's the calendar table. And then we also have a measure here, and this is part of the DAX measures table. This is a basic measure, which is the sum of profits. That's what we have. Real quick, let's go to data here. I want to teach you something related to financials. If we take a quick look at the date here, the date column. So the minimum date here is September 1st, 2013. The maximum date here is December 1st, 2014. Please keep these dates in mind. Let's cancel this. Let's go back to report and let's start playing with the data. So the full range of dates, let's do that. Let's create here a slicer and let's minimize this and let's select right here date. There you go. See right there. So now we are seeing here the dates are going from January 1st, 2013 until December 31st, 2014. And we know for sure that we only have data from September 1st here, right? 2013 until December 1st, 2014. See right there? So this is a little bit misleading when we have this full range of dates. Like I said at the beginning, our goal here is to have a slicer just with valid dates. So let's do that. In order to do that, we're gonna go to dates here because this is the calendar table and we're gonna create a new column here. 
and here we're going to call this valid dates how about that all right check this out and here we're going to use the end function there you go so and then we need to have here date there you go because this is it's coming from the calendar table okay the date column from the calendar table and then this should be greater or equal to the minimum here right check this out it's right there there you go and then the other logical condition should be the date i'm talking about the date column within the calendar table all right so this should be lower or equal to lower or equal to the maximum here are we talking here about the financials date column okay there you go so that's what we want to have here we are basically creating a new column that references just valid dates okay and remember this is within the calendar table okay we are basically using here dax to create this new column so now that we have this let's hit enter and see what happens so there you go it seems like it's working there might be some people that can say hey why don't i use this option here right let's go to date here right click new column and then create a new column there we can do that as well but i prefer using just the dax expression that we are using initially to create this calendar table okay we are basically adding here a new column and it's also better in terms of compression so the the model will work faster so now let's test it and see what happens let's copy this Control c Control v right there okay and then let's do something really interesting here see right here the filters pane so let's grab this column validate this is the column that we just created right and let's drag and drop here filters on this visual and there you go and then here we need to select just true check this out my friends and then what we need to do here is lock this filter there you go if you realize this automatically change see right here this is the full range of dates it's going from january 1st 2013 until december 31st 2014 and here this is just for valid dates it's going from september 1st until december 1st 2014 and this is the same information that we have here as well so guys what do you think this looks better right so this is not misleading anymore we only have data for these dates so let's go back to our presentation and see what else we have there all right guys that was it i hope you found this trick helpful if so as always please give me a thumbs up share with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss anything thank you guys and see you in my next tutorial